I'd, li I'd like to explain to you now hot and cold buckets for circulation. Now, hot and cold buckets for circulation is uh, very straightforward. Now, I don't want you to hurt or injure yourself in any way. You get two buckets, one hot bucket, one cold bucket. You make the bucket hot, so hot you want to scream, but don't burn yourself or scold yourself. The bucket's so cold, potentially icy, that you want to scream, but don't injure yourself. And very, very simply, you're going to put both your feet or both your hands, depending on what you're instructed or what you decide on, into the hot bucket for a duration of anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. 30 seconds to 5 minutes in the hot bucket, then into the cold bucket. 30 seconds to 5 minutes into the hot, into the cold, into the hot, into the cold. You're going to go back and forth. Now, I'll give you a caveat. In this, uh, in this, uh, these buckets, I want you to please put powdered ginger, powdered garlic, and powdered chili or cayenne pepper if you can get it. Now, if we've told you to do a healing bath, don't put cayenne pepper in the bath because that'll burn your genitals, okay? Note of warning. But if it's the bath, leave the cayenne pepper. But the bucket, cayenne pepper's fine with the ginger and the garlic. You can put in anything. You can put in cayenne pepper. Uh, you can put in Epsom salts, bicarb, peppermint, tea bag, anything. But really, the garlic will kill every, uh, will kill most known bacteria on contact. Ginger circulation, similar type properties. Cayenne pepper, from the heat family again, will get the circulation. The hot bucket will get all the blood there with the healing. And then open the pores, the body will absorb the nutrients. The cold bucket will close the pores, get all the circulation away, help reduce inflammation. It's like acting almost like a second heart as a sort of exaggerated metaphor. Blood down, blood up, blood down, blood up, blood down, blood up. This is great for those who have poor circulation now. Or, or skin outbreaks on the hand, feet, genitals, or even head. You've got to remember, poisons are heavier than gravity. I usually demonstrate with a pen. I've got an eyedropper, of all things, naturopath, sitting next to me, not a pen. Or you, sorry, so you can't see, because you can't see below my waist, but the floor, I, I drop the eyedropper, falls to the ground, hit my microphone, actually, and hit the ground. God created gravity, whatever your belief systems are, it, things drop, including poisons in the blood. They end up in the hands and feet. That's why people get arthritis there first in many cases. That's why even some of the Agoscu techniques, I'll teach you the movement techniques. You know, we're going to get you on your back and things, the legs and the end, getting stuff moving again for you as you persist with this. But right now, that's food for thought. If your naturopath or your therapist has told you to put your hands or feet in hot and cold buckets for circulation or for skin outbreak, Please go ahead and do that. Refer to the post-consultation guide.